the Green Wave Gymnasium on the campus of Meade County High School in Brandenburg, Kentucky, where tonight it's the final act of the regular season for these two teams. One more game before moving to the district tournament as the homestanding Green Waves of Meade County High School prepare to take on the Bruins of Central Hardin High School. Hello, everyone. This is Lee Bramlett. Hardin County Educational and Community Television welcomes you to continuing coverage of high school sports. These two teams looking to build some momentum heading into next week's district tournaments. These one-time 7th district rivals, but redistricting, moving Mead County over to the 11th district. As you look at the homestanding Green Waves right now, they are 9-18 and 18 on the season for Coach Cherry Garris. They will be the number two seed in the district. They come off of a 54-41 win over North Bullet in their last game. Across the way, Central Harden also coming in on a winning note after defeating Breckenridge County at 11th District Road Bowl of the Greenway 69-60 in their last ball game. The Bruins 11-12 for Coach J.C. Wright. They will be the number three seed in the district tournament upcoming next week over at John Harden High School. Thanks to the sponsors making possible coverage of tonight's game, Brandenburg Telecom, Physical Therapy Associates, E-Town Exterminating, Bluegrass Cellular, E-TownApartments.com, by Mark Harris Construction, and by West Point Bank. We're about to have the pregame ceremonies here that will include our national anthem. We'll be followed by the starting lineups for tonight's matchup as the Green Waves prepare to host the Bruins of Central Harden. County Greenway Pep Band with the playing of our national anthem. Now the introduction of the starting lineups getting ready to take place on senior night here at Mead County High School. As senior members of the wrestling basketball teams were recognized prior to the start of this game. First up will be the introduction of the starting lineups for the Bruins of Central Harden, coached by J.C. Wright now in his 11th season. Troy Squires, a senior, number 14, starts at one guard. And another guard, Andy Kerr, a 5'9 senior, gets the start. Cody Elmore gets a start at forward, number 21 for the Bruins of Central Martin. TJ Gordon getting the start tonight, a 6'3 senior. And Tyler McCullough will get the start. Bruins 11 and 12 overall. Coached by J.C. Wright coming to this game, winning three of their last five, including the nine-point win over Breckenridge County. Now the introduction of the Mead County Green Waves. Bryce Garris is a 5'11 senior. Coming to the ball game, averaging 15.8 a contest. John Wilson starts another guard, a 5'8 sophomore. He'll average about 8.2 a game. Zeb Wilson of one guard, number two, a 6 foot shooter, averages about 7.4 of all game. Luke Wilson gets the start, a 5'10 shooter. He averages about three points a game. And 6'4 senior Connor Williams, where's number 24, averages two. Point seven a contest. Mead County 9 and 18 overall. Coached by Jerry Garris. They won three of their last four games as they look to build momentum heading into the 11th district tournament next week down at Hancock County. 
where they will have to play the three seed Hornets at their home gymnasium next week of district tournament. Central Harden as a three seed will face the number two seeded North Harden Trojans in the 17th district semifinal game on Wednesday night. As we're just about set to get this underway, TJ Gordon, Connor Williams in the center jump circle as we're just about set for the last regular season game for these two teams. And we're underway, the tap's gonna be fought for. And I believe it ball will go to Meade County. As Gordon tried to tie up the tip. And that will award the ball to the Green Waves. Meade County with the first possession of the night. Wilson with the basketball. Luke Wilson gets the ball to Bryce Garris. Down in the corner. Here's Garris driving. Cut off by Kerr out front. Drive to the inside and a travel. As Wilson got down low, took the extra step. And the turnover gives the ball back to Central Harden. We play about 20 seconds of the ball game, no score. Bruins with their first possession of the night. Kerr with it as Meade County starts man to man. Out front here, Squires with it. Squires lobs it down low to Gordon. Ball gets knocked away right into the hands of Cody Elmore. Elmore drives on Wilson, and we get a whistle and a foul on at Meade County's Luke Wilson. That'll be his first, the team first. Inbounds Cody Elmore for Central Harden. Looking, still looking to get it in. Now brings it out front to Squires. Squires with Bryce Garris guarding him. Double team. Kerr with it. Down in the corner. Here's Elmore going to score up for a three-pointer. That is good. Cody Elmore had 11 points in the win over Breckenridge County, including three of eight from three-point range. Gets the Bruins out to the early lead here, just a minute in. Lee County with a basketball. Garris gets the ball to Wilson underneath. Here's Williams, can't control it though. That allows Central to close in. Williams fall away, doesn't go. Gordon with a rebound and hands it off to Kerr for Central Harden. Bruins in the front court. Here's a three on the way by Squires as an air ball. Williams knocked out of his hands and it will go to Mee County. Just underway here in Brandenburg. Elmore's three, the lone points of the ball game. As Bryce Garris brings it up the floor for Mead County. Zeb Wilson back to Garris on the left side. Now gets away from Kerr. Kerr closes back. Zeb Wilson pulls up free throw line jumper. Short rebound comes down to Elmore for Central Harden. Squires in the front court for the Bruins. Looking down low for Gordon. Gordon passes man, kicks it over. Elmore squares, another three on the way, back of the rim. Rebound fought for, they'll get Gordon for going over the back. First foul against Gordon and the first for Central Harden. Greenway basketball to bring the length of the floor. 6-12 to go here in the first quarter. Wilson across the time strike. To Zeb Wilson, now Luke Wilson takes it. Zeb Wilson tries to fire back out front. The ball knocked away. And it will stay with Meade County. As it will be Zeb Wilson to inbound the basketball. Bringing in long range to Bryce Garris. Kerr with him. Just past the six minute mark here in the first quarter. Out front Williams looking for Garris on the cut to the inside. Kerr right with him though. Now here's Garris out front. Adds it back to Zeb Wilson. Wilson driving on Gordon. Now kicks it back. Central got a hand on it. John Wilson kicks it over. 17-footer on the way by Zeb is short. Rebound Gordon. Ball goes the floor. Fought for him. Meade County had it. They maintain the possession. Out front, Garris bluffs the three. Now will take the three. No good. Elmore collects the rebound for Central Harden. 5.18 to go here, first quarter. Central with the basketball. Kerr to Gordon, bounce pass, they find Tyler McCullough off the glass and in. McCullough gets into the scoring column, Central Harden extends the lead. Out of the five minute mark remaining here in the first quarter. Bryce Garris 
will hand the ball off to John Wilson. Wilson drives on Squires, kicks it back. Garris squares, three on the way, no good. Connor Williams tips the rebound to himself. Back to Meade County as Zeb Wilson will hold it out long range. Wilson drives on Gordon, gets in the paint. Four defenders around him, gets it back out to John Wilson. Meade County will reset the offense. Bounce pass, Williams with it. Williams, now back to John Wilson. We get a whistle and an offensive foul on Meade County. I believe they'll get Zeb Wilson with the foul. But he is first, team second. Central Harden basketball, four and a half minutes remaining in the first. And Elmore three, McCullough with a banker. That's the scoring thus far. Squires with it for Central Harden. Kicks it over in the corner to Elmore. He'll launch another three-pointer side of the rim, no good. Rebound comes down to Wilson. Now Garris running the other way from E. County. Lost the handle, picked up by Gordon. Gordon waiting for traffic to clear and will hand it back to Kerr. Down the floor, Elmore thought about the three. Now waits. Looking for Gordon, he's cut off. Now back to Squires. Squires out front. Elmore in the corner, he'll launch another three-pointer. No good. Rebound, Gordon goes up. And we'll get an offensive foul on Central Harden. Tyler McCullough picks up the foul. That'll be his first, team second. Offensive foul gives the ball back to me, County. John Wilson with it for the Waves. Drives on Squires, now hands it back to Garris. Garris, Luke Wilson in the corner. Zeb Wilson with it. Wilson. Luke Wilson tries to bank it off the glass short. Elmore is fouled. I believe that's going to be Connor Williams. Check that Zeb Wilson. His second, team third. And quickly, Meade County has to go to the bench. Bring number 25, John Malay, a 6-1 freshman, into the ball game for the first time. Central counters in a substitution. Into the lineup for the Bruins is number 31, Dylan Glenn. Charles Manningly also in the lineup for Meade County. Here's a three-pointer on the way by Squires. Good. We've seen Squires knock down the three effectively against North Harden. And Jerry Garris has seen enough. He will take a timeout with 313 remaining in the first quarter. Central Harden breaks out to an 8-0 lead. On three-point baskets by Elmore and Squires. And then the layup by McCullough. Meade County gets to get on the board here in about four and a half minutes. Plus. Central Harden, as we mentioned, winners of three of their last five. Played some very solid basketball. We saw them again push North Harden to the brink both times. Two wins over Elizabethtown. Had an opportunity to take out Bardstown. The All-A region champ and its All-A state runner-up. Back on the winning track over an impressive Breckenridge County team that was ranked in the top 20 by the Associated Press earlier in the year. Bryce Garris kicks it over. Here's a three-pointer on the way. Good by Malay. So the three-pointer gets Meade County on the board. 2.50 remaining here in quarter number one. Elmore with the basketball. Now gets it out front to Squires. Squires driving. Now kicks it to Gordon. Gordon back out front. Elmore thought about the three. Kicks it over. Glenn will pull up with a 15-footer that is good. Glenn becomes the fourth Bruin. To get into the scoring column. Takes it out to a seven-point advantage. 2.20 remaining here in quarter number one. Garris with a basketball, spins, kicks it over. Three-point attempt on the way is no good. Rebound, Williams on the footback. Williams with the basket, makes it 10 to five. Central Harden with the lead in the basketball. Elmore will launch another three, this one no good. Gordon goes back up, and we get a foul on Meade County. Malay picks up the foul. He is first team fourth. Substitutions number 20, Jacob Barnes into the lineup for Central Harden. 
They lob it out front, Kerr with it. Kerr looking against Wilson. Now Squires squares three on the way back of the rim. Rebound comes down to Kerr. Kerr lobs it over. McCullough thought about the shot. Cut off by Williams. Now Squires back to Kerr. 138 remaining here in the first. McCullough with it. McCullough looking for Barnes on the cut. Gordon comes out to take it. Gordon drives on the lay. Back to McCullough. Pulls up with a 17-footer. That's good. Tyler McCullough's fourth point of the night. Makes it 12-5. Central Hyden. A minute 20 remaining here in the first. Wilson drives down the lane looking for Williams. Ball gets away from him and it'll go back to Central Hyden. Meade County brings in number three, Micah Kaiser. A 6'1 senior. Averages just under three a game. Central basketball with a minute 11 remaining here in the quarter. Bruins have never trailed in this one, led by as many as eight. Squires with the basketball. He'll square up for that three-pointer. That one's off the mark. Rebound, Kaiser has it knocked away. McCullough goes the floor, tied up by Kaiser. The alternating possession will favor Central Harden. Dylan Glenn right back in the lineup for the Bruins. Replacing T.J. Gordon. One minute even remaining here in the first. Bruins basketball as Barnes will inbound it. Barnes, Squires, back out front. Now in the paint, here's McCullough. Turnaround shot, banks it too strong. Rebound comes down to Garris from E. County. Bryce Garris racing in the front court, tries to push up the shot, won't count, but he does draw the foul off Andy Kerr. That'll be Kerr's first, team third against Central Harden. Number five, Case Manningly makes his first appearance in the ball game for the Green Waves. Here's Garris down low, spinning, puts it up over Kerr and in. Bryce Garris with his first point of the night. Makes it a 12-7 ball game. Inside the final minute, Glenn tries to split the defenders, puts it up and in, and draws the foul. Nice move by Glenn to go to the basket. And knocks it down for his fourth point of the night. Kaiser will pick up the foul for Meade County, which will be his first. So Dylan Glenn will go to the line, trying to complete the three-point play. If converted, would match Central's biggest lead of the night. Front of the rim, and no good. Malay collects the rebound from Meade County. We'll hand it off to Garris. Down to 30 seconds remaining in the quarter. Central with some full court pressure here. Malay finds ahead to Wilson. Drives the basket. Shot blocked by Barnes. But we'll get a foul on Central Harden. Jacob Barnes guilty of the personal. That'll be the team fourth. But it will send Meade County to the line. John Wilson heads to the line. The sophomore. About 63% from the line. Now the free throw. Meade County closes the deficit down to six with 22.4 remaining. Meade County as a team shoots about 62% over Wilson. Knocks down both those free throws. Make it a 14 to nine count. Under 20 seconds remaining in the quarter. Barnes with the basketball. Glenn back to Barnes. Now McCullough at the top of the key. Down to 10 seconds. Here's Barnes, thought about the three. Looking, now kicks it in the corner. Glenn back to Barnes. Time running down, three seconds, two. Barnes pulls up with a jumper, good. So Jacob Barnes with a 15-footer as time expires. Central Harden will take a seven-point lead into the locker room or into the end of the quarter at 16 to nine. Thanks to the sponsors making possible coverage of this ball game. Brandenburg Telecom, Physical Therapy Associates, E-Town Exterminating, Bluegrass Cellular, E-TownApartments.com by Mark Harris Construction, and by West Point Bank. Leading scorers in the ball game, a balanced attack for the Bruins, as McCullough and Glenn both with four points. Across the way, it is away with a three-point basket to face the Meade County scoring attack. Central has never trailed in this ballgame. They've led.
led by as many as eight at eight to nothing to start the game before Bean Kelly got their offense on track. Outscoring the Bruins, actually nine to eight over the final 313 of the quarter. But Central with that early eight point surge has given themselves the lead as Charles Mattingly, number 22, will inbound it for Central Harden. Bruins coming back out onto the floor. Hand the ball off to Bryce Garris as we're underway here in the second. Garris, Kaiser, John Wilson with it. 1-3-1 defense by Central. And to the inside, we get a whistle and a foul on Central Harden. They'll get McCullough for the foul. That'll be his second, team fifth. Connor Williams checks back in for me, County, as Kaiser will sit down. Central Harden brings Dylan Glenn into the lineup. As McCullough will sit down with those two fouls. John Wilson to inbounds for me, County. Brings it into Garris, thought about the three-pointer. Gordon got out to cut that off. Back to the 1-3-1 defense is central. And they will trap out of it as Gordon and Squires coming out to challenge Garris. Here's John Wilson with it. Wilson now gets the bounce pass. They lob it down low to Williams. Back in will get a foul on Meade County. They'll call Williams for the charge. That'll be his first, team sixth, as Glenn set up for that one and able to draw the charge. Kerr will come across the time stripe for Central Harden. Down in the corner, Glenn with it. Glenn back outside to Squires. Elmore, bounce pass and for Gordon, picked off by Bryce Garris. Waits for the traffic to clear. Now John Wilson across the time stripe for Meade County. 7.05 left here in the first half. Wilson tries to get through the double team underneath. Mattingly with it, goes up for the shot and draws the foul. Nice play, Williams could not pull it in and that allowed Central's defense to close in. But Kerr commits the foul. That'll be his second, the team's sixth. So Mattingly will head to the line for Meade County. Got a 62% free throw shooter. Knocks down the free throw for his first point of the night. Barnes back in for the Bruins. Mattingly back in case Mattingly for Meade County as Charles Mattingly knocks down the second free throw. Makes it a 16 to 11 ball game. 651 remaining here in the first half. Squires drives on Charles Mattingly out front. Elmore squares three straight away. Got it. Second three of the night by Elmore. That pushes it out to an eight-point edge again for Central Harden at 19 to 11. Six and a half minutes remaining until halftime. Cross court, Gordon got a hand on it. Knee maintains the possession. Manley thought about the three. Cross court, pass is tipped and picked up by Barnes. Central with numbers. Barnes, little reverse layup and in. Nice move by Barnes. Went for the reverse and put it in. And Central Harden has their biggest lead of the night. And Mee County wants to talk about it. Jerry Garris takes another 30-second timeout with 6.21 remaining here in the first half. And the Central Harden lead now at 21 to 11. So Meade with a 5-2, or Central with a 5-2 run to start the half, a quarter. And the Bruins extend their lead. And getting contributions across the board Elmore knocks down two threes on the night. Barnes with four points off the bench. Glenn with four off the bench as well. Garris into John Wilson. We're back to action here in Brandenburg. Manning Lee in the corner kicks it back to Garris. He trying to stretch that defense. Garris lost the handle, gets it knocked away, but they'll get a reach in on Gordon. Trying to poke it away from behind, and now Gordon has picked up his second foul. So you've got Gordon with two, McCullough with two, Kerr with two for Central. And Bryce Garris will head to the line. 
Garris in the low 70s for free throw average. Luke Wilson in the ball game for Meade County. Garris with the first free throw. That's the third point of the night. Brings it back to a nine point ball game. As Garris will attempt another free throw. And this one in and out. Rebound comes down to Dylan Glenn. As we approach the six minute mark until halftime. Central with the basketball up nine. Here's Barnes going to square up for a three-pointer back of the rim. Goes off the top of the backboard, and that'll give it back to Meade County. John Wilson will inbounds the ball to Bryce Garris. 5.51 remaining here until halftime. Garris staring at the defense from Central. Now kicks it over to John Wilson on the right side. Back to Bryce Garris. Garris to Charles Mattingly. Down in the corner, Wilson brings it back out. Mattingly bluffs the three, down low, Williams. Trying to go for the charge again, Meade lost the handle. And Squires will bring it up the floor with five and a half minutes left until halftime. Barnes looks back out front, Glenn with it. Back to Barnes. Barnes drives against Mattingly. Kicks it over in the corner, three on the way is good. And Justin Roush into the ball game, knocks down the tray. Now the biggest lead of the night for Central at 24 to 12, coming down to five minutes remaining here in the first half. E. County needing an answer here to keep it within arm's range. Garris will try to give it to him and does with a three. Garris with his sixth point of the night. 24 to 15 now the count. 41 remaining until halftime. Barnes goes the floor, and the turnover will give it back to Central Harden. Or excuse me, to Meade County. We're at Meade County High School in Brandenburg, Kentucky. Regular season finale for these two teams. Central Harden has led it wire to wire. They opened with eight points to start, and have never looked back. Have led by as many as 12 in this one. Basket good by Meade County. Makes it a 24-17 ball game. So Meade to within seven as they score five in a row. Here's a basket though at the other end. Central answer. Make it 26 to 17. Here's Wilson has his shot blocked from behind by Squires. And the ball knocked out of bounds. Malay checks back in for Meade County into the ball game for Central Park is number 34. Matt Whitehouse, a 6'4 junior. Garris with it for Meade County. Garris pass partially deflected, picked up by Whitehouse. Now Squires in the front court. 3.40 left to go here in the first half. Rouse straight away, three-pointer is short. Rebound knocked out of bounds. It'll go to Meade County. John Michael Malay inbounds with 3.36 now left to go here. A 1-3-1 one, one stretched out front. Glenn right at the time stripe. Now Wilson with it and in the front court for Meade County. Back to Garris. Garris cross court pass Mattingly. Charles Mattingly whips it over. Malay will score up for a three pointer that is good. Malay with his second three of the night. And it pulls Meade County to within six at 26 to 20. Squires with the basketball. Off to Rouse. And we get a whistle and an up foul on Central Harden. And Whitehouse will pick up a foul. That'll be his first, the team eighth. And now Central Harden wants to talk things over. They'll take a 30-second timeout at 3.03 remaining here in the first half. A 12-point lead has now been whittled down to just six at 26 to 20. B County, after falling behind 24 to 12, going on an 8-2 run. Cut the deficit in half. 
they have the basketball with a chance to cut into the margin even further. Central Biden scored the first eight to start this one and have never looked back. They have led by as many as well. Lee County knocking out a couple of threes have cut the margin back. As John Wilson will inbound the ball to Bryce Garris. Three minutes even to go here in the first half. Garris directs traffic as he crosses the time stripe. Now gets the ball to John Wilson on the right side, trying to drive on Rouse. Back to Garris, he'll square up, a three is on the way, no good. Rebound, Glenn had it, lost it, Malay gets it back. Here's Garris driving, finds Wilson to the inside, shot blocked, rebound picked up by Squires. <laughs> Rouse in the front court, over to Barnes. Back out front, Rouse takes it. Two and a half minutes remaining until halftime. Whips the pass inside for Whitehouse, intercepted, picked up by Meade County. As Garris into the front court, ball knocked away and it's picked up by Rouse on the run. One man to beat, drives the basket up and in. Eight to 20 now the score. Eight point lead for Central Harden. Mead with the basketball. Here's Garris with it. Garris bounce pass finds Malay. Malay dishes down low. Here's Wilson and they'll get a charge on Wilson or Manningly, excuse me. Manningly picks up his first. That'll be the team seven. Cody Elmore will check into the ball game for Central Harden. Connor Williams back in for Mead County. Under two minutes remaining here until halftime. Set for the basketball and an eight-point advantage. Rouse into the ball game for Barnes. Barnes gets the ball to Glenn. Now Rouse takes it. Out front, Barnes with it to Elmore. Elmore to Rouse. They lob it underneath Squires, draws four defenders. That allows Glenn to score out for the three-pointer. Dylan Glenn with his seventh point of the night. And Central Harden has pushed it out to an 11-point edge. A minute 23 remaining. Out front, here's Garris trying to answer with a three of his own and does. Nine now for Bryce Garris. Makes it 31-23. Central with the basketball up eight, a minute seven left to go in the half. Barnes with the basketball and he carried it, so Meade County will get it back. Turnover gives the ball back to the Green Waves as John Michael Malay will inbounds with a minute five remaining. Garris into the front court. Squires out front with him, bounce pass, Charles Manningly. Manningly, here's Garris all alone as the attention went to the inside and Garris goes to the basket for his 11th point. And again, Meade County to within six. Barnes with the basketball to Rouse. Rouse on the drive, fall away jumper is good. Justin Rouse with seven points all here in the second quarter. 33-25 is the count. Garris will bring it up, under 30 seconds remaining. Me giving indication they're gonna go for one here. Garris checks with the bench. Down to 15 seconds. Malay angles to the left side away from the basketball. He gets it with 10. Cut off by Elmore. Back to Garris at 7. To the inside, gets around Squires. Long two-point basket is good. Garris with a basket. And a basket attempt at the buzzer hits the rim. And we've reached the end of 16 minutes of play. Central Martin will take a 33-27 lead into the locker room. Thanks to the sponsors making possible coverage of this game. Right over Teladon, physical therapy associates, he's down exterminating. Bluegrass Cellular, he's down to Harvest.com by Mark Harris Construction and by West Point Bank. Harding County Educational and Community Television, a division of Harding County Schools. Also seen on Comcast Cable Channel 2 in Elizabeth Town, Ryan Grove, and Harding County, and Insight Cable Channel 25 in Radcliffe. Our coverage of this high school basketball game continues in just a few minutes.
back to me, Cali High School in Brandenburg, Kentucky. Lee Bramble with you. Our halftime score, Central Harden 33, me, Cali 27. As you see, the sponsors making possible coverage of high school sport events throughout the season on Channel 1 and HGEC TV. Quick recap of the ball game. Really, Central Harden taking control of this one at the onset with eight in a row to start the ball game and have never trailed. They took a 16-9 lead at the end of the first quarter, stretched it out to as many as 12 at 24-12. Mead County, though, used an 8-2 run, fought their way back down to about six points, but could not advance any further as Central was able to keep the anywhere between 6 and 11, and the current margin right now stands at 6 at 33-27. to 27. A look at the first half scoring for Central Harden. It is Dylan Glenn leading the way. He's got nine points in the first half. Seven off the bench from Justin Rouse. From there, it's four points to Tyler McCullough. Six points of the ball game to Cody Elmore. Three points to Troy Squires. Two point, four points of the ball game to Jacob Barnes. So a balanced scoring attack for Central Hart at this point led by the line of Dylan Glenn across the way from Meade County. They're being led by Bryce Garrett. And he had 11 points in the second quarter to finish the half with 13. From there, the number is balanced. John Michael Belay finishes with six points in the half. And then it drops down at two points each for John Wilson, Charles Mattingly, Connor Williams, and Luke Wilson. Meade County falling behind early, but fighting their back down to within a six-point ball game at 33 to 27. Meade County after tonight goes to play in the 11th District Tournament down in Hancock County, where they will have to face the tournament host Hornets. Central Harden, you see them coming on your screen right now. The Bruins will head up to John Harden on Wednesday night of next week. They'll play the 2-3 game against North Harden, and we will have that boys as well as the girls 17th District Tournament on Channel 1 at HCEC TV. Central Harden basketball to begin the second half here in Brandenburg. Kerr will get the ball to Cody Elmore. McCullough out front. Lee County man-to-man -man defense. Kerr drives around Wilson, dishes off Gordon, spins. Off to McCullough, forces up the shot. High banker doesn't go. Rebound fought for. Gordon gets it back. Dishes off to Kerr, who banks it off the glass. Andy Kerr gets it to the scoring column. As Central again back out to an eight-point lead, 35-27. 30 seconds into the second half. Garris with it for Meade County. Garris back out front. Manny Lee thought about the three. Now back to Garris. Garris will hand it off to John Wilson. Wilson to Williams. Williams. John Wilson takes it. Looking for Garris. Wilson trying to spin away from Squires. Now gets the ball to Garris, who will pull up for a three-pointer. That is no good. Rebound Elmore for Central Harden. Squires, the senior, will bring it up the floor. One minute in to the second half in Brandenburg. Squires against the double team. Now gets the ball to Elmore. Kerr with a hill launch, a three-pointer. That is no good. Rebound comes down to Matty Lee for Meade County. Garris will race into the front court. Adds the ball off to John Wilson. Garris takes it back. Garris finds Matty Lee, who lost the basketball, gets it back. That allows Central to close in. Ball knocked away and picked up by Cody Elmore. Kerr will bring it up the floor with 6.27 remaining here in the third quarter. Squires takes the basketball. Lobbed it to McCullough. Out front, Kerr. Now down to Elmore, left corner, three-pointer, in and out, and in. Elmore with his third three of the night to make it a 38-27 ball game. And Jerry Garris will take another timeout as he has seen Central open with five in a row to start the half. A full timeout taken by Meade County. That'll be their third timeout of the ball game. It comes at 6-10. We go here in the third quarter, and Central Harden has pushed it back out to an 11-point edge, although that's been really the story for about the last five minutes or so of game time. As Meade County has been able to whittle it down to about six, Central finds a basket or two to push the margin back out. Coach Garris in that Meade County huddle, very animated right now. Not happy with what he has seen from his team to start the ball game. Coach J.C. right there in the center of your screen instructing the Bruins. 
The 11 and 12 on the season. Looking to get back to the 500 mark if they can hold this margin up to the end of the game. It will be Meads basketball to bring the length of the floor. A reminder that we'll be right back here tomorrow night on Channel 1 and HCEC TV. Meads Central and Girls basketball. Back to this one. Luke Wilson hands the ball off to John Wilson. Looking down low instead, Luke back out. Zeb Wilson. John Michael Malay into the ball game. Bounce pass to Garris. Knocked away by Central Harden. Wave will reset at 5.51 remaining here in the half. Inbounds lobbed in to Zeb Wilson. Garris at the free throw line. Spins back in on Kerr. Goes up. Puts the shot up and in. Garris with his 15th point of the ball game. It pulls me back to within nine at 38-29. 5.36 left to go in the third. Gordon underneath, up and in. Nice look to Gordon, and it completes the basket. 40 to 29 the score. Wilson, bounce pass, they try to get it to Garris. We'll get a reach in on Central Harden. Kerr picks up the foul. That'll be his third team first of the half. Case Mattingly, number five, will come into the ball game for Mead County. Team first foul of the half against the Bruins. Here's Garris going to square up for a three-pointer. That is no good. Gordon with the rebound. will get a foul, I believe, on Mead County. As I believe Mattingly tried to go in there and knock it away from Gordon. They got the team first of the half for Mead County. Central Harden basketball with 5.15 remaining in the third. Bruins up 11, looking to extend the lead. Looking for Cullo, but we'll get a reach in, I believe, on Mead County. Luke Wilson will pick up his second, team second. Cody Elmore will inbounds it for Central Harden. Central has never trailed in this ball game. They'll lob it in, McCullough had it, knocked out of his hands. Central will get it back. The Bruins riding an 8-0 start to this ball game and have never looked back. Mead County fought it down to six. But Central has pushed the margin back into double digits. McCullough kicks it over, Kerr bluffs the shot. Now Elmore will take the three-pointer, that is short, as it kicks off the top of the rim, but I believe we're gonna get a foul on Central Harden. I think that'll be T.J. Gordon. Gordon will pick up his third. The team second against Central Harden is Dylan Glenn. Back into the ball game for Central Harden. Gordon sits down. Inbounds to Bryce Garris with five minutes remaining here in the third quarter. Mead County, after cutting it down to six at halftime, has seen the deficit go back to 11. Mattingly, Wilson, John Wilson. It's the ball to Case Mattingly, back to John Wilson. Wilson inside, Mattingly squares, a three is on the way, no good. Rebound is going to be pulled down by John Wilson, gets the inside, tries to loop it up, shot was blocked, gets his own miss. Garris will square up for a three-pointer and knock it down. Garris with his 18th point of the ball game. And it pulls me back to within eight at 40-32, to 32, under four and a half minutes remaining here in the third. Squires kicks it back to McCullough. Now Kerr, Elmore in the corner, thought about the three. Back out front, Kerr bluffs, gets inside. McCullough takes it, pulls up long two-pointer, good. McCullough with his sixth point of the night. Makes it a 42-32 lead for Central. 4.05 remaining in the third. Garris with the basketball. Kicks it over. Wilson passes that it away by Elmore. Elmore jumped the lane, he'll head to the basket, lay it up, shot block, and a foul on Bryce Garris. His first, team third, and that will send Central to the free throw strike. Elmore with nine points of the ball game. He'll get two shots here, first free throw on the way is good. 10 for Elmore. One more on the way, and that would match the point total he put in the books against Breckenridge County. And the second free throw is good. 44-32, and Central again has matched their biggest lead of the night. 
at 348 remaining here in the quarter. Here's the jumper on the way, no good by uh, Luke Wilson. Rebound comes down to Cody Elmore. Kerr will bring it across the time stripe with 335 left to go. Elmore squares up, another three-pointer on the way. Fourth three of the night for Elmore. 13 in the ball game, and Central now has taken it out to a 15-point margin with 322 remaining here in the third quarter. And cranking up the defensive pressure now. Luke Wilson, Zeb Wilson, Garris, back to John Wilson. Bounce pass out front. Garris takes it. Pass well overthrown for Case Mattingly. And another timeout from E County. At 3.01 remaining here in the third. Jerry Garris' team has seen a six point halftime deficit now increase out to 15 at 47 to 32. Central Harden trying to post back to back wins to wrap up the regular season and would win four of their last six. Meade County with some work to do to try to rally in this one as they are now down 15 to Central Harden. A reminder, we'll be back with you here tomorrow night in Brandenburg for Meade and Central in girls basketball as both teams look to set the stage for the district tournaments next week. Of course, we will have the 17th for you. Boys tournament will be played at John Harden High School. Girls tournament will be played at North Harden. We'll have all five of those games on each side, the boys and girls for you on Channel 1 and HCEC TV. 301 left to go here in the third quarter. And right now, Meade County needing some answers in a hurry as they have seen Central push this thing out to a 15-point lead. And it will be Central basketball as play resumes. McCullough, Squires, launches a three-pointer. Front of the rim, no good. Glenn had it, lost it. McCullough goes up, has it knocked out of his hands. Garris brings it up the floor. And we get in the official stoppage of play. And Mee County players shake it up. Believe that is Luke Wilson favoring his elbow. And also... I believe we had another player maybe get a cut. See some maybe bleeding from the mouth there. May have taken a shot to the mouth of the jaw. So you had two players banged up there as we have a stoppage in play. Now Coach Jerry Garris will be coming into the screen here. And also, I think there's maybe some blood on the floor as well. Again, you see the sponsors making possible coverage of high school sporting events on Channel 1 at HCEC TV. Clock arrested at 2.45 remaining. I believe uh, James may have lost a tube, may have, or player may have been injured, lost a tooth there, Case Manningly being attended to down at the far end of the bench. as they continue to attend to him. We have a stoppage in play with 2.45 remaining here in the third quarter. Again, it looked like two players were injured. It looked like Luke Wilson was favoring his elbow, but the main area of concern turns out to be Case Mattingly, number five. Mattingly took a shot to the mouth. And now they are attending to him. In fact, you can see that in the center of your screen there. And now they will take him back to the locker room. And also in the process, they are also having to attend to the floor here. Apparently some blood did hit the floor, so they're having to attend to that right now. 
So a quick reset of where we are. Central Harden with their biggest lead of the night at 47 to 32. They have never trailed in this ball game after scoring eight in a row to start. Mee County fought it back down to six on three occasions, including 33 to 27 at halftime. But Central came out with five to start the quarter, pushed the lead back out. And now enjoy their biggest margin of the night at 47 to 32. As Mee County have been able to fight back from that eight point early deficit. Got it down to six, but could not advance it any further. And Central Harden has broken this game open here in the mid to late stages of the third quarter as they continue to trace the steps of Case Mattingly as he came off the floor. And again, they are attending to any place where their may have blood may have hit the floor where he took that shot to the mouth. As again, getting the floor cleaned up, now everybody back on the court. It'll be John Malay, Zeb Wilson, John Wilson, Luke Wilson, and Bryce Garris. As Mattingly comes back out on the floor right now. And he gets an ovation as they will continue to attend to him. Central Harden, Dylan Glenn, Cody Elmore, Tyler McCullough, Troy Squires, and Andy Kerr. Garris launches it ahead. Wilson down the corner. Malay pulls it in. Now Malay caught in the double team. Gets it to Luke Wilson, who lost the handle. Squires lost it ahead to Glenn. Glenn has it knocked out of his hands, and Zeb Wilson picks it up for Mead County. Into the front court. John Wilson with it. Lobs it down low. Garris with it. Back out front. Zeb Wilson will take it. Bounce pass. Luke Wilson lost the handle. Goes the floor. Will get a jump ball. And the alternating possession should favor Central or Meade County, rather. Actually, no, Meade County takes a timeout to save the possession. Good news, they save the possession. Bad news, by my count, that's their fifth and final timeout. It is taken at 2-10 remaining here in the third quarter. So Meade County will keep the basketball, but still trail it by 15. Uh, Central Harden looks to get back to 500 on the season heading into the district tournament where they will take on North Harden in the second semifinal game on Wednesday night of next week. While they're taking that time out, let's set the schedule in terms of the districts for you on the 17th side. It will be in the first game Monday night, the 4-5 matchup will pit Fort Knox and Elizabethtown. Then Wednesday night, back to John Harden. First game, Knox Town winner versus John Harden. And then North and Central in the second game of the doubleheader. Boys District Championship will be played on Friday night next week. We'll talk about the girls district as we go along here a little later in the evening. Right now, back to the matter of this one, Mee County basketball. Here's a jumper on the way. Garris launches the three, front of the rim, no good. Luke Wilson goes back up and draws the foul. Foul's gonna be on McCullough as he picks up his third. First free throw is good. Luke Wilson with his third point of the ball game. Makes it 47-33. Second free throw is no good. Glenn able to race down the rebound for Central Harden. Hands it off to Squires. Two minutes remaining here in the third. 14-point edge for Central. Double team kicks it over the corner. Elmore will launch a three-pointer that is good. Elmore with his fifth three of the night. And it's now a 17-point edge for Central. At a minute 44 remaining here in the third. Pass tipped in the air, and Squires pulls it down for Central. 
Squires with it. Meade County running man-to-man -man defense at this point. Glenn back out front. Barnes into the ball game. Back to Dylan Glenn. Thought about the three. Drives the inside. Lobs it to McCullough. Off the glass and in. McCullough with his eighth point of the night. And it's a 19-point ball game. A minute 16 left to go here in the third. As this one's starting to pull away just a bit. Wilson with the basketball. John Wilson from Zeb Wilson. Bounce pass to Garris. Now Zeb Wilson with it down to the corner. Malay squares, three on the way, got it. John Malay's third three-pointer of the night. Makes it 52-36. Central Harden inside the final minute of the third quarter. Barnes thought about the three. Elmore will take it. Elmore's got five trays on the night. Barnes will score up. Three is on the way. Got it. Barnes with his seventh point of the night. Makes it 55-36. 1-3-1 defense by Central Harden. And they will trap out of that. John Wilson. Looking, gets the ball to Luke Wilson. A little rudder gets the roll. Wilson with his fifth point of the night. Makes it 55-38. 12 seconds left to go in the quarter. Squires will back it out at seven seconds. Down to five seconds. Ball gets knocked away. And we'll get a reach and foul, I believe, on Meath County. As I believe it is going to be... No, they'll say Squires with the reach in. That'll be his first. That'll be the team third. So it'll be Mead basketball with three seconds remaining. Seb Wilson brings it into Garris. Little runner at the buzzer goes through. A three by Garris. That gives him 21 for the night. And it pulls Meath County to win 14 at the end of the third quarter, 55 to 41. Thanks to the sponsors making possible coverage of this ball game, Brandenburg Telecom, Physical Therapy Associates, E-Town Exterminating, Bluegrass Cellular, RetailApartments.com by Mark Harris Construction, and by West Point Bank. As we mentioned, Garris with 21 points, he leads all scoring on the night. Across the way, it is Cody Elmore had a big third quarter as he finishes with 11 points in the quarter. He has 17 now to lead the Central Harden Bruins. So eight minutes left to go. Central Harden trying to post back-to-back -back wins as they would march into the district tournament. Awaiting their showdown with North Harden. Dylan Glenn, as you said, with nine points that did not score in the second half. Barnes with a three to half seven. Central Harden seeing some players stepping up here that we have not seen to date. Big night for Elmore. Glenn with a solid performance. Let's talk about the girls' district tournament. Let's very quickly, we had mentioned the 17th boys. The girls looks like this Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at Ron Bevers Gymnasium. The Tuesday night game will be Central Harden Fort Knox. Winner of that one gets top seed Elizabethtown on Thursday night. Then it's John North in the girls semifinal lower bracket game girls district championship will be saturday night of next week at ron bevers gymnasium we'll talk about the 11th district tournament of interest to Meade county in just a moment as the ball goes out of bounds and we'll go back to central harden boys district tournament is being played down at hancock county and it looks a little bit like this breckenridge county gets cloverport frederick phrase in one semifinal Meade and hancock in the other Winners of the two semifinals to square off after that as McCullough travels with a basketball. Steps called, so it comes back to Meade County with 7.45 left to go in this one. In those district tournament times in the 11th next week, they'll be played on the district semifinal on the boys as the three is on the way. Bryce Garris with 24 now in the ball game. Meade within 11, 55-44. Boys semifinals in the 11th will be played on Tuesday night of next week at Hancock County. Three attempt on the way by Kerr is no good. Rebound comes down to John Wilson for Meade County. Wilson kicks it over. Garris will try another three-pointer. No good. Rebound Kerr. 
And the district championship on the boys' side will be played Friday. Jumper on the way by Elmore, no good. Gordon on the rebound, back up and in. E.J. Gordon with his fourth point of the ball game to make it 57-44. And Central Harden will take a timeout with 7.01 remaining in the ball game, leading 57-44. A 13-point lead for the Bruins as they have led from wire to wire in this one. A quick look at the Girls 11th District Tournament that's being played next week. That also being played down at Hancock County High School. The bracket there will be played on Monday night. They will start Monday night. First game will be Meade County and Cloverport Frederick Fraze. Then the nightcap, Hancock County, Breckenridge County. And they'll play the Girls District Championship a week from tonight, down at Hancock Valley High School. 6.56 left to go here in this one. Meade County down at 13, now 11. As Malay puts in the basket for his 11th point of the night. Now a 57-46 ball game. Squires had it knocked out of his hands, but Central gets it back with 6.43 left to go in this one. Central had it out by as many as 19 at one point. But Meade County has fought it back down to 11. 6.40 left to go in this one. Squires with it. He'll pull up for a three-pointer that is good. Squires with just his second three of the night. And that'll make it 59-46. Under six and a half left to go in this one. Wilson, Malay, a three-pointer from the corner. In and out, no good. Rebound McCullough for Central Harden. Squires ahead to Cody Elmore. Squires will bring it back out. With 6.13 left to go in this one. Here is the ball going to the floor. No good. Picked up by Meade County. Garris drives the basket and draws the foul. And they're going to they're gonna count the basket by Garris. will be his 26th point of the night. Foul is going to be on Andy Kerr. That'll be his fourth. As Jacob Barnes will check into the lineup for the Central Harden Bruins. Free throw is no good. 12-point margin, under six minutes left to go in this one. Barnes will score up for a three-pointer that is no good. Rebound comes down to Zeb Wilson. Bryce Garris into the front court. Garris in the corner. John Wilson tries a three-pointer that is no good. Elmore with a rebound for Central Harden. Squires into the front court. Barnes with it. Back to Squires. Elmore takes it back. Yeah, Wilson guarding him. They're looking for Barnes underneath. Nice look. Puts it up and in. Barnes had a trouble corralling that one, but once he put it in the back, he got it underneath. Puts it up and in for his ninth point. And it's a 62-48 ball game with 5-10 remaining. Wilson with it to Garris. Zeb Wilson, here's a three-pointer on the way by Malay, in and out, no good. Rebound comes down to Dylan Glenn, who hands it off to Squires. Five minutes left to go in this one, as Zeb Wilson dives into Elmore and commits the foul. That'll be the third on Wilson. Five minutes left to go under, make it 4.57 now. Jay Gordon will check into the ball game as McCullough sits down. Central basketball. Squires takes it. Being guarded by Bryce Garris. Barnes with it. Barnes looking for Glenn on the cut. Now Elmore comes out to take it to Squires. Barnes back to Squires. Down in the corner, Elmore back to Troy Squires with 4.40 remaining. Gordon 
Now Glenn with it. Glenn back to Squires. Central backing it out with that 14-point lead. Squires out front. Lobs it. Intended for Gordon. Pass a little high, and it will come back to Meade County. 427 left to go in this one. As John Wilson will bring it up the floor for Meade County. Luke Wilson, Zeb Wilson to John Malay. Pass is intercepted. Glenn will wait for traffic to clear and hand it off to Troy Squires. Elmore with a basketball. Pulls up, 17-footer on the way is good. Elmore with his 19th point of the night. And it's 64-48. Central Harden under four minutes left to go. Wilson lost the handle. We'll get a foul on the Bruins. I believe that'll be on Squires. His second. That'll be the team fifth. McCullough comes back to the ball game as Gordon will sit down. Inbounds, Meade County. Here is Malay going to pull up for a three-pointer that is no good. Rebound McCullough for Central Harden. Final in girls basketball on the evening. LaRue County has defeated Campbellsville tonight, 70-24. to Here, three and a half minutes left to go. Central up 16 on Meade. McCullough with a basketball. Back out front to Barnes. Now Elmore will take it. Elmore looking for McCullough. Ball gets knocked away, but on the spot is Barnes, who goes to the basket and draws the foul. Make it 11 in the ball game now for Jacob Barnes. Foul is going to be on John Wilson, who picks up his first. Barnes heads to the line, trying to complete the three-point play, and does. 12 in the ball game for Barnes. And Central matches their biggest lead of the night now at 19, 67-48. 313 left to go in this one. Lob underneath. Belay will put it up and in. Belay with his 13th point of the night makes it 67 to 50. Under three minutes left to go in this one. Barnes drives the basket. He'll go coast to coast. And they'll get a blocking foul on New County. And that will be on John Michael Malay. He'll pick up his second. That'll be the team's sixth. On Meade County, so Barnes right back to the line. Barnes with two free throws. Made his only attempt just a moment ago. Steps to the line for one of the bonus here. Actually make it two as he hits the first one. 68 to 50 the score with 2.55 remaining in this one. Central Harden that amount of time from going 12 and 12 on the regular season. As the free throw is good, no good, excuse me. Zeb Wilson with it for Meade County. John Wilson with it. Here's the bounce pass, ball gets knocked away, picked up by Central Harden. Barnes waits for the traffic to clear. Glenn with the basketball. Find Squires on the cut. Bank shot doesn't go, rebound comes down to Luke Wilson. Meade running the other way, into the front court, Malay with it. Back to Zeb Wilson, 2.20 left to go in this one. Bryce Garris, cross-court pass. Here's Malay, got a square up, three-pointer on the way, back of the rim, no good. McCullough pulls down the rebound for Central Harden. Coming down to two minutes left in this one. As coach Jerry Garris starting to go to his bench here just a bit. Barnes drives down the middle of the lane, up and in. Barnes with his 14th point of the night. That makes the score 70 to 50. 145 left to go in this one. As Garris launches the three, hits the side of the rim, and the rebound comes down to McCullough, who hands it off to Kerr. 137 left as the benches start to unload just a bit here. The only variable left now will be the final margin. 
Right now it's at 20, biggest lead of the night for Central who have led wire to wire. They never trailed after taking an eight nothing lead, let it all stop. 16 to nine after one, Meade bought their way back down to six at halftime, 33 to 27, five in a row to start by Central, pushed the margin back to double digits. And they have been in control the rest of the way as we get a whistle and a foul. To stop the clock with a minute eight remaining. I believe the foul is going to be on Dylan Glenn, which will be his first, and that will bring in a bevy of substitutions that we will try to pick up for you. Central Harden brings in Justin Rouse, Matt Whitehouse, also Noah Lois, number 22, Evan Payne, number 10. At the line, the free throw no good by Bryce Garris. And the rebound pulled down by Central Harden. Lee Kelly bringing in Charles Mattingly as a three-point attempt on the way, no good. Whitehouse goes back up, can't get the shot to go. Fought for, rebound comes down to Charles Mattingly for Lee Kelly. He hands it off to Bryce Garris. As here's the runner, no good, but a foul on Central Harden. At number 15, Will King in the lineup for Mee County. Also in the ball game is number 12, John Miller. Foul's going to be on Payne. That'll be his first. As the free throw good by Bryce Garris. Central Harden goes to their bench to bring in D. McNeil, number 44. 71-50 now, or 70-51 as the free throw missed by Garris. He'll finish, or he has 27 on the night with 42 seconds remaining. And now a timeout going to be taken by Central Harden. So again, they continue to empty the benches here with 42.6 seconds remaining as Bryce Garris Receives an ovation from the Meade County Partisans playing his last home game. Connor Williams also coming out of the ball game. Substitutions into the ball game. We get Trevor Yates, number 23 for Meade County. Josh Durbin, number 34, checks in for the Green Wave as well. As we're under 40 seconds left to go in this one. Also into the ball game, Michael Reed, number 32 for Central Harden as is number 30, Patrick Nichols for the Bruins. Central Harden will improve to 12 and 12 on the season as they get ready for a district semifinal showdown with North Harden. Jumper on the way is no good. Rebound comes down to Meade County. Meade County falls to nine and 19 and they will get ready to play Hancock County in the 11th district tournament next week as we're under 10 seconds left to go in this one. Shot on the way is no good. Ball knocked out of bounds. It will be Meade County basketball with 4.3 seconds left. Bryce Garris will lead all scorers on the night. He'll finish with 27 for Meade County. Cody Elmore will finish with 19 on the night for the Bruins as we get a whistle with 1.8 seconds left to go and a foul on Central Harden. Noah Lewis guilty of the foul. And that will allow Will King to go to the free throw strike. King unable to knock down the free throw. Gets one more with 1.8 seconds remaining. As King launches the second one. No good. One more attempt here for King. As he puts it off the back of the rim, tipped up in the air, no good. As time will run out of this one, and Central Harden has defeated Meade County by the final score of 70 to 51. Thanks to the sponsors making possible coverage of this ball game. Brad and Earth Telecom, the Therapy Associates, each out incriminating Bluegrass Cellular, each out of Marcus.com by Master of Construction, and by West Point Bank. For our HCEC TV crew, Lee Bradford saying so long from Meade County High School.